Double Dragon. It's your boy, Amen. Let's like it. Back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. Get it, man. Good. Blood circulation. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Um, probably ashy, but you know what I'm saying? It happens. Um, yeah, first first foremost, I gotta um give an RIP to Coach Brennan, quarterback from Hawaii, mm. college college football star. He passed 37 today from uh I don't know what it was, but you know what I'm saying. What happened? Um, he died. He died today. They they don't they don't know why yet, but yeah, he passed Dang, today. Bro. That's and, crazy. Yeah, it touched me because that was one of my favorite college players growing up, and uh, seeing him go to the NFL and stuff was pretty cool. And I think that was why we was at SIU too. But yeah, Dang. I repeated that man. Um, yeah. Somebody else. Class. I think it was a college. Yeah, basketball, basketball player. player. Yeah, I think his name was Terrence or something. Dang, I repeated him too. People, man, ridiculous. But we gonna still have a, you know, what I'm saying a Joyce episode. Uh, we left man. off. Uh, I got, I got blue ball. You know, Doflamingo didn't fight. We'll pull up. Thanks. After we thought we was gonna pull up. I think the way it seemed, like it kind of seemed as if they was gonna get out of there. Like the more you kept watching it. The more steps they kept taking to like get to leave earlier, <laughs> like, oh, let's get on the boat. Oh, um, let's start a banquet. You know what happened to every banquet? After the banquet, what happens? They, they dipping. Right. They dipping right away. So. Right. I knew they yeah. were gonna do that, man. Yeah, it's all good, man. But I feel like uh, that initial. First of all, if y'all wondering what this is on my face, man, got the bump right here. So bought this stuff to like. Kind of like toothpaste, but it's like three times stronger. And you put it on there and it like dries it out, stuff like that. How long you gotta have that for? Shoot. This is just like a few hours or something. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all family, so I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? Being my realist with y'all. But yeah, the initial setup of Doflamingo like introducing him was, was cold to me. Like even with the face like he making now, him even leaving in the first place. You know what I'm saying? What? I'm sorry. I be I be tuning it out sometimes because I see something. I think it's ADD in me. I'm not on my medicine right now. But can you do you pay attention to Doflamingo's eyes? They look cock eyed, but I think that's just the glare from the glass, but it just it just looks cock eyed right now. Yeah, it do look cock eyed. Yeah, okay. But yeah, well, yeah. The, yeah, the entrance to Doflamingo. That stuff was that stuff was cold. We didn't really get to see. We saw him do a little something, something in the Marine yeah. Fort, but this was like the like the introduction introduction to him. It's like it's like it's more of a it's more of a grand entrance than a yeah. a plug of him just be showing being as just yeah, you know, yeah. showing up. Cause we got tidbits of it before. If you think about it, it really don't make sense for them to meet up right now because it don't make sense now. Cause they meet up, right? We just got introduced to Doflamingo doing a smile and all of that yeah. stuff. That's he's why like I, the main person. That's why I was so excited. Cause I was just like, they can't be fighting right now. Like right. that's kind of why I was so excited. I thought they were really about to pull up and then he was just gonna retreat and take somebody. And then we gotta chase them. You know what I'm saying? How like mm. a, uh, the, how, how Final Fantasy be doing all the time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh super excited to finally get to his character and kind of get the like i kind of want to know the background of his story and his posse because i feel yeah. like they got like a like a tight tight knit like group yeah and like i kind of want to see what happened with them and and why they trust him so much and why they back him a lot it seemed like he had to be some type of great person to them maybe yeah back in the day when they was like young kids or something like that so I'm kind of interested to see his backstory. Yeah, I like the fact that they call him like young master. Normally, mm -hmm. when they call somebody young master, it's like it's a lot of respect there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it might be 
because of who his family may is. He might have some family or something. That's true. And it's... and these glasses got to be something special from the past. Kind of like, well, maybe I'm hoping they are. Mm-hmm. Like um, how Ace had the beads from Dadan. I'm hoping that these glasses came from like his like caretaker or somebody that, that he loved a lot. Because that kind of, like I like when people use certain certain like uh, memory thing items things yeah. to like push forward you know what I'm saying do certain things so to have these on I hope these these bring some type of significance yeah to the story I was excited about Ioka I mean no, I wanted to see Ioka G anyway I think yeah. we both wanted to see him but I, I figure if they showed him at the end it'll increase the art for me yeah. but it was nice to see Ioka G and I thought that Doflamingo and Ioka G was gonna pull up and he was gonna be the reason I know why. what was about to happen yeah I would have liked that you know what I'm saying I know what was about to happen but I don't know, man. This seemed like a cool villain. I'm excited because the stronger the villain, the stronger we evolve. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to see what type of, you know, development we get from this and stuff. So I'm already into it, man. Let's run it up. Okay. Big and butt. I feel like, look at son right there waiting too. <laughs> Robin Swan. <laughs> Not me be ready, bro. <laughs> Are you gonna charge us? D that on the cold. Just Rosa. Did you see the drip? The f- it was alright. But the collar? It wasn't it wasn't one of his best works though. Oh his shit. coat, his hoodie and the side body arc was, was way better. The hat is always dripped though. I gotta give him the hat too. I like that people still going to rescue other people, man. They just not gonna forget about them. Go get y'all comrades, man. I wonder how long it takes. Man. I actually kind of worse than actually dying immediately, bro. Being paralyzed, stuck. Like stuck in that. Mm-hmm. Still being alive, isn't it? Well, what if they find this? <laughs> Smoker chum. All oh, the two people. Hey, oh yeah, gone. Law petty. Oh, isn't it? The Doflamingo? Oh. Why he gotta show up like that? The music. It's a new OST. I don't think we heard this one. Boy, that tall. Tall. Yeah, I think they showed him this tall. In, oh uh, my gosh! In Marine Ford. Hockey. This man. You that's got all conquerors the, hockey? That's all the range you got? That just made him even more colder. Smoker, chill out, bro. We need you alive. Oh, water showing. We might get the Iokas you show up. Yeah. No. He pretty much got double hockey, bro. Just an ordinary pirate. You already got shot. The red bottom's on. All right, pointy ain't his shoe. Ain't no snitch. Smoke about to do something. Leave my men alone. Oh, I was about to say. I look at you, need you. I mean, hey. I would think so. If he couldn't be, if he couldn't be Virgo, damn sure ain't beating him. Sad to say. Yeah. Dang! He probably about as tall as Ioka G. Nah. We ain't no snitches. You made him a promise. I ain't trying to hit him in the nuts. Oh, shiznit. 
Yo, I am scared for smoking, bro. Throwing up Dang it. blood signs. Right. Dang it. The questions they be asking, bro. Man. Broke. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be broke that mark. Oh, the cigar. Did he infuse it with hockey that time? Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. They're riding with us. <laughs> Law is on to him now, bro. Yeah, no idea what's going on. <laughs> A C slope. He, he is very vague, bro. Yeah, talk, call him out, Robin. He's the most evil one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like, Frankie. <laughs> he looked mad at him. <laughs> Chopper ride or die. Wait till I finish it. I like how you're working on Nami uh, stuff. Young Cole. Hmm. He sat on him. Why are you sitting on my mans like that? Hey, Yoko G! Young man, D. Look cold like that. Look cold. He is my friend. D. Interesting. Bro, Elgin look cold. He still consider him his friend. That's interesting. He's saving his friend. Did they ever show a relationship between them? I don't know. I know who else was his friend. Oh, you talking about uh, Saul? Didn't you already admit he was dead? Never. That's all a comment has said. Somebody saw you and heard you admit that, but they were surprised. I ain't researching or nothing. <laughs> what the hell? Is I was that? like, what you say? When you say that? I don't remember that. I'm riding and die on this one. Yeah, they can't check your receipt. Yeah, it's all in dead. Uh, furthermore, um, yeah, that was a crazy show up. It was definitely setting it up to to for him, him to come up. come show up and help him. One thing I will say is I do feel like Smoker is gonna come back just godly. And the reason I say that is because he got two ass whoopings in in one arc. He been getting his butt whooped. Yeah. He has just, you know what? Him and T.D. Shiggy was get, both getting beat up very badly. Actually, I three. Feel like, who was the third one that was with him? Law. Law was at, well, Law was handicapped. No, Law whooped Smoker. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant three, three uh, people. No. Yeah, so he did get mopped three times. Yeah, if he getting this butt whooped. Three strikes, he out, dude. I don't know, man. I think, I think Law gonna come back cold as hell. Law? I mean, uh, oh, Smoker? Smoker gonna come back cold as hell. I think so. It's gonna be another time skip or something. It's gonna probably be in like in the future. Okay. It ain't gonna be like right now. I feel. But you. I feel like this gonna hurt him. And he gonna be like, I couldn't protect anything, and he he gonna get stronger. Him and TDC gonna both get stronger. Same as Luffy. They gonna have a Luffy moment. Where he's like, I feel like I can't protect my pretty friends. Pretty much. And I'm pretty much. He's he's pretty much going through that right now. Like his his squad been getting mopped the most on on all accounts. They like, have been getting mopped. His squad been getting beat up the most. They ain't got the whole. The frozen moment when he was getting poisoned. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> it's kind of funny to laugh at it now because they go out to save my man. Yeah, but it yeah. was one of the saddest yeah, moments. Yeah. But now it's just funny now. It's, yeah.
Dang, you're right though. I can see that because you take so many L's, you bound you to take a W. Too many. Yeah, yeah. I know he ain't about to just have him smoke get his ass throughout the whole rest of the series. That's kind of messed up. I'm just saying. But he got mop. I hope he just showed up, bro. That was yo. Him showing up looked cold, bro. Yeah, it it was expected, but it definitely looked it cold. And I kind of want to see like what's about to happen now. I hope G mopping Doflamingo easy. I think most, what you think? That's why he froze and stopped doing what he was doing. Right, because he ain't got no puppet stuff to I don't think Doflamingo can beat, yeah, nah. I don't said, think whoa, whoa. He, beat, he beat no admirals right now. Nah. No former admirals, no previous admirals. I don't think he could beat even Gart. You think Doflamingo can beat Gart? Uh, nah. Yeah. Uh, that's a tough one, but yeah. That's it's kind of like how Rayleigh is versus Kazaru. It's like in his prime, he'd have mopped him easy, but now it's like they gotta like evenly match in a sense when they kind of fall. I that'd disagree. be kind of tough. That'd be kind of tough. I'm just gonna say I disagree. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. And plus, we... I just want to see Garp actually show some of his power. Everybody talking about how yeah, he used to be strong, like in the show, but I want to see it. You, are, you ain't you ain't keep this energy for Shanks. What's up? You didn't have the same energy for Shanks. You thought he was godly the first we time. Stuff. When? No, no, no. I'm talking about ship. even before that. You weren't you weren't saying that to Shanks. Well, you could tell when he Shanks when he was saved Luffy from in the in the first episode in the first whatever that he was cold. But you couldn't tell Garp was cold until never. Only time I got there when he started throwing up cannonballs when we was leaving Water Seven, I was like, okay. What about when he first showed up for Kobe and uh the other uh, punk dude? He was uh he I, I thought he was cold. I didn't think he was like on Shanks level though, but I thought he was like okay he 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 can do something. I got you, Garp. I'm always yeah, you you, that's your homie. Defend that nigga. Garp my G, you feel me? Garp, I understand, bro. He barely got on my good side, so Frank. He don't want to be over there. You ain't want him the first time. That's facts. He took. He done fed, fed Ace for years. That's crazy. Who fed Ace? He dropped him off he, for years. Ace fed his yep, and he put him in a position to get fed. And, and that's he visited fine. all that's the fine. time. That's fine. Made sure everything was Thank fine. Thank you, Garp. That's what a parent's supposed to do. Thank you, Garp. When they traveling a lot. You ever been military family? Thank you, Garp, for taking Goldie Rogers' son. And putting him somewhere where he could grow. Thank you. Like I said, he barely on the good side. I do. You, I you a little stuff. bit four hundred episodes too late saying this. Better late than never. But yeah, man. I got you, guard. I don't care all you got fans. Y'all can come for me all you want. I don't give a. We freak. let y'all hoop. We know y'all emotional. Y'all mad no, you're not. about Ace. It's fine. What about Akainu? What about him? You like him? He's a good villain. That's it. I don't like that's him. That's your favorite word. That's that's the answer. I don't like, oh, I love Okainu. No, it ain't like that. It's like, yeah, all right. He's an okay villain. I like Blackbeard as a villain more than Okainu. Okainu didn't really, didn't really like, he'd be on some shicey stuff though. I don't think you hate characters. Oh, I hate characters. Characters who not everybody else hate. What? I ain't not everybody else hate. That, I ain't trying to go down that road. You talking about? I don't hate characters that everybody else hates. I feel like because y'all be hating for no reason. Like it's it's no reason. I mean, I can see a kind who killed your favorite character. I can see that hate. You said no reason. Did you name a, a big like a big? Dumb I named reason. one reason out of like I'm trying to see. What he did? I don't like beard? um um the a girl from a uh, Tower of God. Nobody like her. That's what I'm saying. Everybody usually you everybody. You said I don't hate characters that everybody else hate. That's one of them. Everybody didn't like Frieza. I didn't like Frieza. I, but I'm gonna give them their respect to say that they were good villains, and that's why people hate them because they're such a good villain. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to get past that good villain part and see if you actually like the character. I know they like good villains. Kind of I don't think about oh, okay. him at all. Like he oh. don't. He don't. He don't like have no like. I probably think about Blackbeard more than I think about Akainu because I think Blackbeard is a better villain drawn up than than I really don't care for Akainu. Like yeah. what he did was like not really like he was really like somebody did comment this and actually put it into crazy perspective like low key low key can you call him a murderer? 
Akainu. Do you think he murdered Ace? Yeah. Think about this. If like I'm about to shoot at, you know what I'm saying? Say for instance, I'm about to shoot at your pet, right? Yeah. And then he's like, no. And he jumped in front of the jump in front of the bullet. And then it kills you. You know what I'm saying? And not the pet. Did I just murder you? Yeah, because well, was that an accident? You get, could you get tried for that? But that's messed up. Yeah. You right. I do agree. I will get tried. Yeah. But realistically, that's messed up because I wasn't trying to shoot you in the first place. I probably was a couple minutes ago. Yeah. But at that moment, yeah. I had nothing to do with you. I was trying to shoot the dog. I understand that. And that's true. But, but okay. you're responsible for whatever come out of your... But gun. I ain't telling no bird to fly by while I'm shooting. The, you know what I'm saying? That bird, that's on the bird. That That's on you for, for jumping in the way. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, but... The one thing I can't say, he did try to kill him before that. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was the whole target. I can understand if he was I mean, like, yeah. like say for instance that was Garp. Yeah. Instead, of, instead of Ace, yeah. you were trying to kill Garp. Would you call that an accident? That'd be an accident because it's kind of like the police, the police That's like facts. accidentally That's shot their own. You know what I'm saying? It's just messed up. But yeah, I understand that. But my defense the, definitely doesn't work because he yeah. tried to kill Ace before, and that was like one of his. His kind of main targets. That's down true, there. and that's my only defense. And like I said, you're responsible for the bullets that come out, Bruh, It's not my fault. A bird, uh, you jumped in my way of my gun. I know. If we taking real life out, if we even taking out, if like we taking out, just, just like say for instance, I'm getting robbed. Yeah. And this is in the um, a, um, open carry state. Stand your ground. Somebody, like, I'm getting into it. Somebody threatening me. I'm about to shoot him. And some old lady walked past. It was an accident. I thought you might get probation. I don't think you should get no years for that. Yeah. I mean, that's a different situation because you, exactly. you have self-defense as a as a backup. You might not get as much, but, you know. But saying? in the terms of Ace and the kind, yeah. it doesn't work because he tried to kill Ace anyway. Yeah. I'm just saying, Ace could have just, like, bit his leg or something. I don't know. But uh yeah, one thing I like about the story is, is that the artists do a great job when they make you hate a person. That's just good writing. Yeah. You know that's what I'm a saying? Good villain. Right. And that's a good villain. And I agree with, with all of that. But just because I agree with all of that don't mean I can't actually not like that person. Even though in I In a think, sense you like him. In a sense you like that villain, low key. In a sense I think he's written well. Yeah. Because if it's allowing him, like me to him. hate him. If you, you hate know him, what I'm you saying? Like him. If you don't hate the villain, you don't like the villain. To be honest, let's be real. Uh, you, you probably hate. Well, you probably. I don't know if it's hate. Like, like people like Hordy or Caesar. Like, you probably never gonna. Well, you gonna think about it, but but it's like they don't. They don't give me that that yeah. that fan hate like that. Ooh, we're gonna get you, and, and it, yeah. I can't wait for Luffy to beat you up. We're exactly. Get that from him. That's why I think. I don't think Hordy is a good a good villain. Yeah, I'm trying to see if you actually allow the story to take his course and allow you to hate a villain instead of just always saying he's a good villain even though he is a good villain do you allow yourself to like hate that character in a sense if he did something that you you know what I'm saying or do you just always be like well he's a good villain so that justifies it it don't justify me being nice to him like them being a good villain is like me like them doing villain stuff like evil things that yeah. make the, that make people not like him and make him want to be defeated I want Blackbeard to be defeated because he killed Whitebeard. I want them to be defeated. I'm saying they're a good villain because the way the story is portraying them, yeah. it's a good kid. It, it's well written. Exactly. They make you uh, don't like them because of what they did. Yeah. And a but, lot of people agree yeah. with Akainu. They believe that his absolute justice was the right thing to do and they in the war, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying, somebody who's willing to kill their own Marines or Navy people just at the drop of a dime for absolute justice. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't get with it. You know what I'm saying? He is a great villain because I hate him. You know what I'm saying? So I acknowledge that, but I hate that motherfucker, bro. If I ever see that, I'm good, bro. But yeah, this episode was fire, man. This episode Facts. was fire. And we're going to go to see the next episode. What's up, Ioka G? Long time no like see. A cigarette commercial.
<laughs> oh, dang, they're probably the same height. What kind of boots is those? Yeah, cowboy boots. Former Admiral. Ooh, dang, he got a scar. Hold on. That just confirmed they actually fought. Cause he got a scar? I mean, they did, they did, uh... I think they confirmed they actually fought even before this, but, um... Said he fought for 10 days or something. But he just mm -hmm. said the dude was like after he fought a kind or something. How many birds did he have to kill for that coat? <clears throat> Shade. He really tried to kill him. <laughs> he tried to ask that. <laughs> I just froze that nigga quick. <laughs> he petty, bro. He froze him quick, bro. He petty as heck. He's like, <laughs> that's cold. I gotta add that to his resume right there. I know he can break out of that because he got hockey, right? Froze his man. Ice. That look cold. Him frozen? Yeah. He like one of those sculptures that be at fancy parties. Right. The little bird. Can you use hockey to break out of that? Bro, Don't Flamingo's taller than Iokaji. This the first time somebody has broken out of Iokaji's ice. Hold up. I know. I know. They don't know. I don't. I know. I know. I know older. Bro, Saul's not young. Okay. Man. Okay. I know who on the boat with me. That's fine. I'm by myself. I'm staring this mod. <laughs> I'm in one piece. I will be alive, bro. I will take the L if he ain't. But, I, but I'm, I'm very <laughs> certain he is. Come on, man. Stop making him look at this time. I want to see this. Dang it, bro. I got that snow. <laughs> you scary ain't this motherfucker. you like, come on now. I'm not interested in fighting yet. <laughs> I want to know this, too. That's crazy. That was wild. He's like, what? <laughs> Take my bed home. Vagabond. Come on over the outside. Or Yoko G it didn't work out for you. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Damn, mummy wrapped this mug. Right. Oh. <laughs> I ain't never seen him like kind of act that way talking. Yeah. What's that mean? He's still a good guy. Sakazuki. It's a uh, Kainu, right? Yeah, oh, okay. it's a Kainu. Same Sakazuki. I forgot. <laughs> they heard of him before. <laughs> Boy, he realized that she knew that. I thought he found out already. Yeah. He's, he was running something about my son is a dragon. <laughs> it's like, you pay attention, but don't pay attention. Damn. Man, I was just mop Caesar, bro. He blushing. <laughs> <laughs> they walked away from him. He said he's just a piece of. How many people y'all got? 
Is he technically um Vivian, according to uh, how this ended up? It was kind of like we forced. We're gonna be forced to kind of like help him. He on our ship. It's like we're doing the right we, thing. Uh, we just happened to go to the same place. Yeah. Like, it's pretty much yeah. He's like adding on to our stuff. I mean, but VV was the main reason we went there though. Yeah. He not he not the main reason we going there. Right. I like diamonds. I like those type of shorts on women. Facts. For the bus. He ain't even doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy, <yeah. laughs> where is he going? <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. It's uh, it's cool that they keep adding elements of them sailing. Yeah. So we never forget they on the open sea. Yeah. Oh my gosh, ice glacier or something. That's right. Who stuff is that? Planetary devastation. I wonder what's up there. Oh, it's just the storm. The storm, I guess, making it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I might do that, bro. Hey, looking through the books. Oh, because this, this is um episode is mixed canon. Oh, okay. So it's probably just kind of no like wonder it's like this little thing. Or something. <laughs> you gotta look in. <laughs> Why are you the chef, bro? I'm sweet. A crab. We've all been in that same spot for a minute. He was just coming to kill us. What's he doing? No matter where he's swinging, it's still A. We was aiming at Caesar. He's sleepwalking. Oh, he told him he killed, um... Oh, the, uh... Yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, Ryuma. Ryuma, yeah. Because he's from Wano, too. Yeah. Who wants to eat up a nice snack? <laughs> he said, but if he cooked it... That stopped his whole little pursuit. Oh, the phone! See, man, that's what I be... This man be kicking with all the females. Uh, Robin Swan. He said it's not fair. You're taking it from the child. He knew what he was doing. Bro, he about to laugh. He's a nesting, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This one looks like a bird. I gotta give it to Momo, man. That's a rare sight for Robin to be taking a shower. And he was right there. She butt naked just. Oh man. Hey, Robin, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's probably leading to canon. I mean, uh, yeah. filler stuff. Hmm. We don't need to see you. Bye. Funny, bro. Funny. Momo, man. That's a real dude, bro. This man, bro. That's a real dude. <laughs> mm. The uh, second he came out and he was hugging on Robin like this, I knew he was on dirt. I was like, come on, bro. That old dirt, bro. Having a good Love time. You. Lucky. No wonder talking about they want to go to Dress Rosa too. Y'all was going somewhere else, bro. Got to stay here because of our winning. That man stole the show. For real. Yeah, I guess that was the last episode of um. Punk Hazard. Punk Hazard. Yeah. We have completed Punk Hazard. All right. You ready to do your rating? Just bowing. My rating? How Punk you doing? Hazard. A letter or you doing uh, numbers? I could do out of 10 uh, with with decimals. 
Okay. Punk Hazard was a 9.2. Mm. 9.2. Okay. Mostly because of the world building, the plans, like stuff coming out of nowhere, mm-hmm. the confirmations on characters and and like cool, cool, cool moves, the Zoro move, the Luffy move when it was okay, the law move was crazy. The playing with the heart was crazy. Um how Ayokoji showed up, how Doflamingo showed up, had a part playing this as well. He kind of like dabbled in. Mm-hmm. And then um uh them both pretty much going at each other. Momonosuke, Kinnaman, them crazy characters too. Mm-hmm. And I forgot to add, Doflamingo has Conqueror's hockey. Yeah. That is huge. It's not a lot of people that got that. It's if crazy. I'm, if I'm not they say that, but it's like everybody we. <laughs> <laughs> but we know a lot of people that got it. But we know Luffy got it. Luffy got it. Shanks you know, got it. Shanks. White Bear had it. Rayleigh. Rayleigh have it. Nah, I'm pretty sure Goldie Roger had it. I don't know. But Doflamingo is like one of the ones that currently has it that that we didn't really like. I didn't expect him to have Conqueror's hockey. Conqueror's yeah. hockey. Yeah. To me, that makes him more like. A I respect force. him more, yeah. yeah. Like, dang, he one of those people that got Conqueror's hockey. Yeah. Cause I see, cause to me, I see anybody that has Conqueror's hockey, they are in the running for King of Pirates. That's how I see it. So by the fact of him having that, that makes me like, okay, all right, all right, okay, mm. all right. Like, they got a chance to win. Yeah, I can see. I'm that. Not saying he's gonna win. Yeah. But you know, I can see that for sure. It to be like the rare thing. Those are the important people yeah. to me. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you gave it a 9.2. Yep. I was thinking between 9.1 and 9.2. So, but yeah. I'm gonna give it a 9.1 just because only reason I'm docking it is because of the first half of it. It was first a little half? slow. It was a little slow. <clears throat> Even though it was slow, but it was like I could still watch it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's the only reason. Otherwise, you know. I would have put it like 9.8 or something like that. Yeah. But like you said, you named all the uh, stuff that happened and Punk Hazard. You know what I'm saying? And it was it was dope. It was dope to see some of the, lot of stuff. the big fights. You know what I'm saying? We didn't really get to see like the Law versus Smoker. You know what I'm saying? Virgo versus Law. Virgo versus Smoker. Yeah. Doflamingo coming. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like some big fights and it had that animation. You know, no. Animation was Chris in it you know what i'm saying i'm knocking it just for the beginning part and the villain but i understand the villain more now since the arc is over mm-hmm. he's really like instrumental towards doflamingo's plans and kaido's plans and all of that so it's like the setup you know what i'm saying we're going through the whole setup now we're going to dress rosa to possibly fight kaido because he don't he probably ain't gonna let us destroy the other factory i didn't know it was another kaido. factory kaido kaido um you said Kaido. 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 You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't gonna let us destroy it. I thought we just destroyed the only source. Now nah, I know it's another source. They gotta kill that, so he can't make no more men or whatever. So like the setup, you can sad. see the story yeah. building. You know what I'm saying? So I what's enjoyed your, it. What's your favorite? Your top moment of of uh, Punk Hazard. Top top moment. Uh, law. Slicing. Cutting. Slicing. Between that and that <laughs> Zoro moment. That Zoro That's, moment yeah. and that was like yeah. the two. I was just like, shoot. I'm going to give it to Law. Because I wanted yeah. to. Because Zoro, Zoro definitely second place. It's just Law. Sh- like, like we talked about it before. That Law kind of like showed showed it. But Zoro showed it too. He just didn't show all of it. So, yeah. so I give it to Law. Yeah. yeah. That was wild. Because it was like the intensity and Virgo just transformed. So you were thinking he about to last a little longer. And Law yeah. was just like. <laughs> I like how they did it because it was a, it was as if it's like they kept amplifying the strength behind what he just did when they first hit. Yeah, he I, the only thing you saw was Virgo slice in half. Mm-hmm. Then it opens up the la, the last slice to half. Yeah. Then he opens up again the mountain slice to half. Layers, like, yeah, yeah. layers on layers. Yeah, bro. it was crazy. It just goes to show you how strong Law is, especially with his heart. <sighs> Don't take that man heart every time. <laughs> God, just going in. <laughs> well, yeah, I like Luffy sometimes. Like, he's not the normal leader. 
or mm-hmm. captain like everybody else is used to. Yeah. But the way that his personality is, I like it because it makes everybody safe. If I was on his ship, I'll feel safe because when they start going through dangerous stuff, our captain is never wavering. He's excited. He's yeah. joking. He's like, blah, blah. And if I see that, I'm going to be like, man, you know what? We're going to be all right. Mm-hmm. As opposed to somebody's like, Usopp. Not saying he'll be as crazy as Usopp, but if he hears something, he just like, whoa, whoa, kind of like timid or whatever. I'm just like, yeah. hold on, bro. You're the captain, bro. Like, but I like I like Luffy's like leadership uh, personality in a sense. And it's different from the, from the norm. It's understandable. But yeah, man, this is a dope arc, man. Definitely enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got any end of remarks? Nah, man, it was it was a pretty pretty good arc, man. Yeah. I'm ready to ready to see what Dress was Dress Rosa talking about, um, and if it's gonna be better than this one. Facts, man. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I check these videos out on our Patreon before we put them on YouTube. Facts. I'm checking out. Peace.